This is News Always On. Celebrity chef, storyteller and writer who took TV viewers around the world to explore culture, cuisine and the human condition for nearly two decades, Anthony Bourdain has died at age 61. CNN, the network that airs Bourdain's show Parts Unknown, confirms the cause of death was suicide. The network said in a statement Friday morning, quote, It is with extraordinary sadness we can confirm the death of our friend and colleague, Anthony Bourdain. His love of great adventure, new friends and fine food and drink and the remarkable stories of the world made him a unique storyteller. Fans, fellow chefs, celebrities and friends reacted to his death with stunned sorrow. Celebrity stars and chefs, including Gordon Ramsay, took to social media sharing their condolences to Bourdain, saying the world lost a very good man. It's still a very, it's still remarkable to me every day that I, every, every time that I, I can pay my rent on time. It, it, before, until age 44, I'd never been able to pay rent on time. I'd never had anything resembling, you know, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was living the way, you know, college kids live. Uh, my whole, till I was 44. Um, I, I had no security, no possessions. Uh, never owned a car, never had health insurance, um, and, and I was pretty set, I mean, as comfortable as one can be with that situation. I mean, that's where I was at age 44, and then Kitchen Confidential came out. I was still standing next to a deep fryer. Um, so even though it's 11 years later, uh, you know, as I like to say, the, the, the smell of the steam table and the griddle uh, is still pretty fresh in memory, and, and uh, I guess in some ways it informs, you know, how I live my life now. Bourdain was in France working on an upcoming episode of his award-winning CNN series Parts Unknown. According to the network, his close friend Eric Rippert found Bourdain unresponsive in his hotel room Friday morning. Bourdain joined CNN five years ago. Jeff Zucker, the network's president, remembered him as an exceptional talent. Zucker wrote, Tony will be greatly missed not only for his work, but also for the passion with which he did it. Viewers around the world felt connected to Bourdain through his fearless travels, his restless spirit, and his magical way with words. Bourdain was a master of his crafts, first in the kitchen, then in the media. Through his TV shows and books, he helped audiences think differently about food, travel and themselves. He advocated for marginalized populations and campaigned for safer working conditions for restaurant staffs. The Smithsonian once called him the original rock star of the culinary world, quote, the Elvis of bad boy chefs. Bourdain found himself on the path to international stardom when he first hosted a cook's tour on the Food Network, then moving on to the travel channel with the breakout hit Anthony Bourdain No Reservations that earned two Emmy Awards and more than a dozen nominations. His death came days after fashion designer Kate Spade hanged herself in an apparent suicide Tuesday at a Manhattan apartment. Suicide is a growing problem in the United States. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention published a survey Thursday showing suicide rates increasing by 25% across the U.S. over nearly two decades, ending in 2016. The government report finds that 25 states has experienced a rise in suicides by more than 30%. Remember, help is just a phone call away. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-8255. For News Always On, this is Castle. Subscribe to our channel for more news updates.